17th of September 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. I am your host, Ruth Inasegan. Let us start the bulletin from Luka District. Now, the Health Ministry, in conjunction with development partners, have built a contemporary ward in uh, to replace a maternity ward that was banned six years ago. Frank Bikaba, the in charge of Kayunga Health Center for Norets, that even the surgical theater was re uh, renovated last year. Rebecca Kadaga, the Speaker of Parliament, and the Kamuli District Woman MP, appreciated the Macarian Vast School of Public Health and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for contributing towards these innovations. She emphasized the child and mother survival is very important and must be planned for. Now moving on to Wakiso District, police in Matuga, Wakiso District, are hunting for Sarah Nachimeda, a resident of Semtor Road in Wakiso, over dumping her two children in an abandoned building in Randa Ezone. The children were discovered on Saturday morning by Kathy Nansamba, a resident of the area who was on her way to the garden. Uh, identified as Joel Francis, three years, and Ashim Chiravo, six years. They were found crying, calling out for their mother. According to Nansamba, the children looked hungry and were yearning for something to eat. It is at this point that Nansamba called out for help from her fellow residents. When asked as to the whereabouts of their mother, the eldest child said, Our mother left us here and told us that she was bringing us food to eat and soda, but she did not come back. Stephen Chiria, the officer in charge of Matuga Police Station, said they had since launched a hunt for Nachimera. He said the case has been opened against Nachimera on file number 11 forward slash 15 forward slash 09 forward slash 2018. Now this is what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. For those who have not sought out a copy, the headlining story says the army reserves deployment in cities uh, in city stats and then we see 52 ugandan intercepted at nairobi airport the story here we have a front picture of those children these human trafficking cases uh you know continue uh, cropping up each and every day and new vision tv will be bringing you a series of own human trafficking uh, not later than next month so watch out for that and then we see body body of man dumped in city suburb in a broad daylight that is under crime we see oil government companies disagree on crude that's a story that you should read when you buy a copy of the new vision and also what you shouldn't miss inside the new vision is over 50 jobs we have jobs from uia we have jobs from uetcl we have jobs from udc cairo bank and various ngos I, do you want to change your career or are you looking for a job New Vision has the solution for you into this copy of the New Vision. Now, another story making headlines in here. We see about 500,000 refugees still not accounted for. Why is that so? The story is right there. Then, Makere tuition hike for postgraduate courses sparks protests. Okay, that's a story you should read. Government oil companies disagree on oil volumes. Okay, the story is in the New Vision. Secondly, advises entrepreneurs to invest wisely. Okay, the vice president has some um, advice for you. Then, streetlights unlock Mbara's potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay let's go to uh, the pullouts that come out every Monday. The pullout, uh, one of them is health and beauty. It says, Where did we go wrong? Healthy policies. The story is right there. And then what has changed since independence? Meanwhile, next month, we are celebrating 56 years of independence. So we shall be bringing you a series of these stories starting today. Get your copy and get to know what that is. This has come out in the health and beautiful out. Then we see can measles cause infertility in men? And why do I get persistent uh, yellowish discharge? The questions are right there and the answers are also in there. 
Then another pullout that com comes out every Monday is the infrastructure pullout. It says Ugandans need effective transport systems. Why so and why has this prompted this? Uh, as such a headline, the story is on page 29 inside the new vision. Okay, let's wrap up with... Actually, let's just go to the sports docket and then we see what's making headlines there. We see Olumi Day. Hmm. Okay. Get to know what that is about inside the new vision. We see big changes at Express FC Club. Uh, club introduces season card for supporters. And then Museven to preside. Preside over what? The story is right here in the sports docket. Uh, new era begins at Express FC under Chilewa's champion um, chairmanship. Get these stories and much more inside the new vision. Remember, the copy of the new vision is just 2,000 shillings. And you can also, if you can't uh, buy a copy, but you have internet, the link is right here below where you can uh, get to this copy and more copies of Vision Group. So, New Vision is is the leading uh, daily, and we are so proud of that. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasadi, and let us continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. Now, from Ibanda District, even the woman MP Jovin Kalisa has urged the youth to develop the, a culture of saving if they are to become economically empowered. She asked them to embrace the government programs by forming groups where assistance can be channeled to them. Kalisa speak, was speaking at the launch of Ibanda Young Entrepreneur Circle, where she delivered 50 million shillings pledged from President Jeremy Seveni to the members of the circle. This pledge was made by the president during the commissioning of Chichenche Gravity Scheme early this year. The circle was formed by even the youth leaders under the presidential initiative program of empowering the youth. It is aimed at empowering the young, the young people with the knowledge on how to overcome situations of poverty, literacy and social uh, under development. Let us close to this bulletin from Mukono District where the government has welcomed the Church of Uganda's efforts to train doctors to boost the healthy sector. Officiating at the launch of the Uganda Christian University School of Medicine at the Archbishop's Gardens in Inamirembe in Kampal on Friday, the Prime Minister, Dr. Hakana Rugunda, said Uganda is greatly underserved by doctors. This Rugunda disclosed adversely affected many villages across the country which cannot access the services of doctors. The doctor-to-patient ratio in Uganda is estimated at 1 to 20,000 with a nurse-to-patient ratio of 1 to 11,000. The World Health Organization recommends one doctor or physician per 1,000 people. The medical brain drain is partially to blame for the problem. Now, despite the commendable strides in improving healthy care, Rugunda said non-communicable diseases continue to pose a challenge to the healthy sector. And that's all we had for you from me, Ruth Inasaje, and the New Vision TV team. Remember, you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video.